So I just literally got this news like right after, soon after I posted the just the Death of the Justice League video because I was literally like, okay, that's just one bit of news. I don't think there's anything other major coming out. And then someone on the chat on the video po posted saying, "Hey, did you know we're getting a Godzilla TV show on Apple Plus?" And my reaction was to quote Willem Dafoe, "What?" Uh, yeah, I literally had Dafoe meme mo a Dafoe meme moment where I was like. But, <laughs> um, and I look on social media, and lo and behold, a legit Godzilla TV show, a legit Godzilla TV series has been officially announced to premiere on uh, Apple Plus, a station I give zero, absolute zero fucks about. Like, really, I have given little to no fucks about. Uh, the go about anything about Apple Plus. I mean, yeah, there's a few movies here and there I watch, but like, it's not a. a st we ha I have that streaming site. Um, it went apparently with my family's phone plan, so I was like, okay, we guess we get that for free. All right, okay. Um, but now I have a r legit reason to watch Apple Plus because now there is a Godzilla TV show, something we a Godzilla live action TV show that we have wanted. For, or like, since time in memoriam, we have all kind of wanted and hoped for a Godzilla TV show. Holy shit, it's actually real. I cannot, in any way, shape, or form, uh, believe this is happening. Like, holy crap. <laughs> to quote Peter Griffin, holy crap. <laughs> uh, yeah. So let's talk about, like, some of the news that's been revealed about it. So starting off the showrunners, Chris Black is apparently um, behind this. He's been behind Star Trek Enterprise. Uh, he has been behind several Star Trek shows at Paramount. And as for head writer, we have Matt Fraction. Um, Matt Fraction, most of you guys would know best, as for uh, creating multiple great runs over at Marvel and DC, you know, great writer. He's also done, dipped his toes in the television. Uh, Matt Fraction wrote probably one of my favorite comic books, uh, his Hawkeye run, is by far one of my favorite comic book series I've ever, um, I've ever read. So to have Matt Fraction here, uh, is really cool. Like, I think that's really cool. The, now, let's get into the story. So the story for this Godzilla TV show is that um, it's more, it's set during, apparently, from what I understand, it's set during the events between um, Godzilla and King of the Monsters. I think it's set in between or, or before Godzilla 2014. Um, uh... Yeah, I, yeah, okay, I, I was looking at the thing right now. Uh, it's set between King of the, Godzilla 2014 and uh, King of the Monsters. So Monarch is coming into light, and the and the Titans are being, like, seen. Like, they're, like, Godzilla is now in hiding, and Monarch is trying to keep the other monsters from waking up. So my question is, how much of the Titans are we gonna... How much of the Titans are we gonna see in this series that's my question is how much are we going to get of the titans and how much because here's the thing you're really gonna have to blow your 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 money load on making the on showing those monsters and apple plus does shell out a lot of money just saying and i'm actually surprised by the way that this is a, showing up on apple plus and not hbo max like for real like that just dawned on me like why apple plus why is it? Why is uh, why is this not going on HBO Max? Which yeah, HB um, Warner Brothers owns HBO Max, also owns the also owns Legendary, so they have the rights to those monsters. Uh, they have the movie rights to do this. It also does make me wonder. Since this is is this what they're going to do now that um, since Godzilla movie rights are kind of up in the air between Toho and Legendary. Is this how they're going to do this? Which is fine because this way you can talk, do other monsters. There were a ton of monsters that have not only been seen in um, that were mentioned in King of the Monsters, but also seen. We, this is maybe we could get limelight to Methuselah, to Behemoth, to Leviathan, Mokela Mbembe, um, Tiamat, uh, Amaluk, who most of you guys probably saw in the Godzilla Dominion comic. Um, 
And yeah, they said they are going to ta- also talk about Skull Island. They're actually going to um, they're actually going to reference Skull Island and talk about that. So we'll see more of Kong grow. Maybe uh, yeah, because they uh, get it, getting to use Kong is probably a lot easier than using Godzilla, Rodan, and Mothra because yeah, the rights are still up in the air as far as I know. So Godzilla. It, it, they can still they can do stuff with Kong like that's the thing like they it, 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 they uh, Warner Brothers owns the rights to that design of Kong so they can do a Kong they can do stuff with Kong so that's actually kind of cool that we can get more Kong centric stuff I um, again I wonder how much of the budget how much of this budget is going to be relegated to using this like how much are they going to be using for giant monsters. And, yeah, this is more of a conspiracy-type show. Um, and talking about, like, what the origins of Monarch. Like, we're going to be talking about, like, how Monarch was formed. I imagine, like, for this show, one of the things I'm guessing they're going to try to do is do, like, a... Um, like, flashbacks. Like, flat flashbacks in each episode, like you mostly get in most shows, where they're going to talk about the origins of Monarch and the and like the formation of monarch from that that's what i think is probably what they're going to do personally i think would have been better and like maybe see the formation and get to see more of the titans out there but yeah it's kind of this is a nice timeline of between 2014 and king of the monsters because again godzilla hasn't been godzilla wasn't seen in that five-year gap um and it makes me wonder how much are we going to see of the monsters because a lot of them were locked away and a lot of them were kept under lock and key until the Ghidorah until like some were broken out and then Ghidorah freed the rest and caused them to just to be unleashed but that does they did say that there were ki- there were titans that were um un- that were unknown like there were some that were out there or they escaped already so it does make me wonder are we going to see other titans or new titans because I think that's what we uh, that's and I've talked about this before is where what I think we what we really need for this is a is for new kaiju blood. We need some new monsters. And we got a taste of that with like Behemoth and, you know, Methuselah and, you know, mentions of others. Um I, I yeah, so I think that'd be really cool is to see new monsters and basically bring new blood into the kaiju family. I think that's that's what we kind of need to do, really, is bring in some more ki- uh, some new kaiju blood into uh, the Godzilla family. And it does make me wonder, are, uh, like, going back, um, is there a possibility of seeing Godzilla here? Like, there's a huge... Could there be a possibility? Is Toho going to be cool enough with that? Or did they, you know, talk something out? Did Toho and Legendary talk something out with, um, with Legendary? Like, that's my question, is... Did they talk something out with Legendary, or I mean, did, did to- Legendary talk something out with Toho, or did Toho be like, "All right, we don't really have anything planned right now for a new Godzilla film, and Godzilla vs Kong made us a shit ton of money, so you guys can keep doing stuff." Remember, there's still the Kong anime series coming to Netflix, and I'm kind of hoping that does connect with this. Um, it's very clear that the monster, after seeing the ridiculous numbers that Godzilla vs Kong made. It was going to be very clear that they were going to do do more stuff. We thought it was just going to be more movies, but nope. TV, TV show, Kong anime. Um, but again, not on not on HBO Max. You'd think that would have been on HBO Max, right? Like, <laughs> I don't know. So, I'm really excited. I hope they they you know they shell out the money for the kaiju, and that's what we come for. That that's where I I do. Don't get me wrong. I want a compelling human character because I didn't get shit with um, I haven't uh, yeah I haven't gotten a good human character in the MonsterVerse since Brian Cranston, really if if I'm being honest. So I want compelling human characters in my monster story. I'm not gonna be like I just come here for the monsters. I'm here for the monsters, but I also stick around and because ch- I want to care about the humans we see in the TV in in the sh- in this media. You know, 
literally Ultraman, no one would give a shit about Ultraman if the person behind him or the surrounding cat human cast was boring. Just saying. Um, so, but yes, we did come here to see monsters, and hopefully we can get shelled out money for monsters. So there you go. So you guys tell me in the comments below, what do you guys think of this Godzilla TV show? Which, I don't know if we should, call, maybe it's just going to be called Monarch, I imagine. It's probably just going to be called Monarch, but anyway. So you guys tell me in the comments below, what do you guys think of this new TV show? Are you guys excited? Are you guys not? Um, what monsters are you hoping to see here? Are you hoping to see like some of the, the new bloods like um, Behemoth and... Um, you know, the Muto, Muto Prime and all of that, like, those monsters? Or, and are, are you also hoping to see Godzilla, Kong, Mothra, Rodan in here, too? And do you think there may be a pot? There's another thought I just had. Could there be a possibility other Toho monsters, like, Toho would be nice enough to let them use other monsters like they did with Mecha Godzilla in GVK? So could it be possible that we get, like, could we get the Monsterverse version of Gigan? Or, I personally don't want them to lean too much with classic monsters. I want new monsters. I wouldn't mind seeing, like, the occasional new monster, uh, like, uh, rend a legendary version of, like, Gigan or um, uh, Destroya or, Bi actually, Biollante. If I was to pick, like, a monster to get the Monsterverse treatment, it would be Biollante. Just saying. That's just me. So you guys, uh, so yeah, and what are your hopes for this show? Anyway, so just comment below, let me know, and as always, if you're new here, uh, remember to hit the link below to my Patreon and get exclusive videos, you know, exclusive content, and if you hit the fourth tier, you can send me a request to do here on YouTube. Anyway, but other than that, I'm really excited to see what you guys have to say about this. I'm Mr. Multiverse. I'll see you next time.